Hey, what's up guys? Kobe Cheese, and I'm bringing you another full game commentary uh, today playing some ranked with uh, with some Tarek. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty noob Tarek. This is probably like my second or third game that I've ever tried him out. Um, what was, what was going to happen is I was actually going to play Sona. This guy picked Sona for me and we were going to trade, but apparently I did not have any heroes that he wanted to play, so I was like, fuck it, just play Sona. And, and then there was like three seconds left, and I was like, ah, shit, and I just clicked Tarek, and I was like, okay, I'll pick Tarek. Uh, figured he would be good in a, a dual lane with, uh, with, uh, Sona here, and I would be able to support the Ash that I have on the team. We've got, uh, Elements. I duo queued with Elements today, and he's playing the, uh, Katarina in the middle lane there. And uh, we got a jungle Ramus, so we should have some pretty good ganks going on. Pretty shitty lane, if you ask me. I hate lane against Zillion; it's such a pain in the ass. But at the same time, it's gonna be his harass is gonna be nullified. We've got two hills. Tarek is a bitch to lane against. You can't harass him for shit. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and heal the crap out of everything. Um, the funny thing is, this guy actually doesn't know how to play Sona. He said this is the first time he's ever played Sona. He just bought her so he could trade her and stuff. Uh, so he doesn't really know what he's doing. He kept he's you he, he might see in the chat every once in a while he'll ask me like what what he's supposed to build and like how to play her and stuff like that. So uh, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. It's gonna be a pretty wild game. This actually was a very wild game. That's the reason I decided to commentate it. It is super close, but I'll let you guys. I don't want to spoil it for you. I'll let you see what uh, what happens. Um, anyway, so so. Elements took mid on Katarina. Pretty strong mid. Uh, you don't see Katarina very often. She's actually not that strong unless you're really good on her uh, in, in certain team comps and things like that, you know, things of that nature, but whatever. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and try and get as much CS in as I can. It's kind of tough to, to last hit on him. I'm, I'm not going to waste my uh, my mana too much on using the um, the Shatter, which is an AoE ability that Tarek has, which is uh, it, like, releases your, your little, you have this little aura that gives everyone uh, armor and you can release it and it'll do an AoE that does damage to everything around you. It's pretty cool though, it's your, it's your main like DPS ability on Tarek and helps you farm minions and stuff. But uh, for laning, since we're doing this stupid zillion here, I'm just going to save up for heals and stuff. Uh, hopefully the Sona can get some last hits, you know, I want to get her farmed up, be kind of like a uh, AP carry support role. She has been nerfed eh, a couple times, basically every patch since she was released just because she is so strong but uh she's still pretty good she's not uh nerfed to in in active use she still gets banned in ranked games uh, except for this one obviously uh i think we banned like pantheon and malphite and Sweet. you know all the standard gragas all that so oh look there elements just got first blood Sweet. that's what you want to see uh he's going up against a morgana i guess he just kind of harassed her down and uh took her out so Probably hit level six, did his little spinny spin. Um, just kind of, just kind of sitting here in the lane, trying to do a little bit of harass right now. Um, nothing too excited in, in this lane, just because of the fact that we're two healers and we're not. The Sona, honestly, is not playing very aggressive. I, I think at some point I, I can't really see the text right now, but uh, but I was telling her she needs to try and uh, auto attack harass because when you're playing Sona, really you should be. Just running up and auto attacking every chance you get. See, right now she's. Eh. I mean, I know she's being hit by the uh, the zillion, but what she can do is get her spells ready. And as soon as zillion pops out, just auto attack, harass him. I can stun him, run up, do my shatter. There's no way that he can handle that type of damage output. And then I'll just, then we'll just be able to heal ourselves. But unfortunately, the Sona is new. She doesn't know what she's doing. So I'm just trying to basically keep the lane without dying, you know. And we're just gonna. Going to get a little bit of CS in. Uh, later game, we'll s you'll see the scoreboard. The Sona like, just doesn't know how to last hit at all, and I've got like twice as many CS as her on Tarek, which I don't know. I don't think that should be happening. I know I do have kind of a AoE and stuff like that. Uh, I think uh, Elements over there, he's already gotten like freaking like two kills already at this point, so uh, it's kind of funny. He's doing pretty well in his lane. As long as we keep this up, we should be good. You know, uh, get him pretty fed, and uh, you, you, know, you know, you never want to go against a fed hero. Katarina can do some considerable damage in a team fight with that ultimate if she's not interrupted, uh, you know, or something like that. I know they have a Shin, so basically, if Shin can do his ultimate, or sorry, his uh, his taunt on her, then that'll mess up her ultimate quite quite bad. Uh, Zillion, you know, you don't see a lot of Zillions. Um, I'm not really sure how viable he is in ranked because just because I don't see him enough. I actually have been playing a little bit of Zillion myself, and I quite enjoy him. I don't play his AP. I go, uh, I go more of a support. I'll get like a locket on him. 
Uh, I'm honestly I'm not even sure what the Zillion's going for right now. He might be going for Locket as well or um, Cat Catalyst. And then build into something else. We'll have to just wait and see. Oh, look at that. Elements with another kill. And I think I actually was just asking him on vent where Warwick was. And he goes, oh, he's ganking me. And yeah, sure enough, the uh, right after he killed Lightside, which was the Morgana, he got ganked by that uh, Warwick. And unfortunately, we don't have replay mode or observer mode, so I can't scroll the mid and let you see the fights and stuff like that. So you're just going to have to watch this boring landing phase for now and just uh, just trust that it was cool or something like that. You can use your imagination, I suppose. Uh, I, think, I think we saw Warwick going for the dragon, so we wanted to scare him away. For some reason, the Sona backs at pretty much full health and mana. Therefore, there's no way that we can stop them from doing dragon. Um, not the smartest move, honestly, giving a free dragon to them. We could have scared them away. Uh, the Ram is going to roll in to see if he can smite it, but it's too late. There's four people there. Um, not really anything we can do. Yeah, Elements comes in. Yeah, five of them, actually. So there's... Uh, yeah, we're in the bad position. I actually go ahead and uh, pop my Ghost and Flash because he... I didn't want to get taunted by the uh, Shin. Brazilian put on a little speed there to help him catch up to me. And uh, I was just like, screw it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to feed this game. I want to play intelligently at least somewhat, you know. So I'm just going to go back to the lane, get a little bit of extra farm in. I'm trying to build up to a... Um, I believe I'm going to go ahead and go for the Aegis. And uh, right now I just want to build up support so that I can make sure that the team has a good amount of uh, uh, buffed items so that when we go into team fights we will be able to win just based on the fact that we have the... The heals, the aura for me. And, and at this point, the game actually is lagging. I, I'm saying I'm like, I can't move. I can't move. You can probably see me clicking on the screen right now, but my hero won't move. He's just auto attacking oh. back. I couldn't do any heals or anything. So I'm not sure why the Warwick is able to move. And uh, Elements was actually saying that he lagged out too. He could have gotten a kill, but his his hero just stopped. You can probably see him on the mini map. He's just sitting there still. So I'm not sure what happened at this point. I was actually talking to De Lovely after the game. She said the same thing happened to her in her game. So I guess it must have been some kind of server-wide deal. Uh, at this point, people start disconnecting. So I'm just going to speed the game up a little bit extra. Yeah, there goes. Elements just disconnected. There, Shin disconnected. Uh, luckily, I didn't disconnect. Basically, I'm going to try and push the lanes while this crap is happening. Uh, you can see Twitch up top. He's going to take advantage of it and kill our tower. Uh, Soda's back down on bottom, so it looks like right now it's just kind of a bunch of chaos. Yeah, there goes the zillion. The, uh, basically, everyone is disconnected. It's freaking hilarious. Look at this. So, yeah, we're going to be able to get this tower. I'm going to go ahead and pop my ultimate, which, um, if you don't know, Tarek's ultimate will actually give the entire uh, team plus, uh, I don't know, at max rank it gives you 60 attack damage to the whole team. I think that's how much it is. It drains a, a considerable amount of, it's like a, uh, it keeps on draining mana the longer it's up. It's kind of like the Karthus E spell. Uh, it also heals everyone on your team for uh, a sort of small amount, but you know, it's noticeable over a long period of time. Anyways, it does drain the crap out of your mana, so uh, so you have to make sure and use it wisely, but just only in the, the most opportune moments for the most part. Really, Tarek, the way you play him is you just try and stun their most high-priority target or the person that's going to be doing the most damage, you know, ho preferably their carry, or, or try and stun the person that is killing your carry, and then just uh, keep your heals up. Whenever you do a heal on Tarek... Uh, It'll um, it can heal him for a quite a large amount, or if you heal a teammate, it'll actually heal them uh, for half the amount it would have healed you, and then it heals you for that other half. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, uh, little spell. Um, and then as far as a stun, if you're not aware of how a stun works, basically whenever you shoot your stun, the farther away they are from you, the longer it'll stun, but the sh the less damage it'll do. So if they're really close to you and you stun them, it won't stun for very long, but it will do more damage. So it's kind of neat uh, little mechanic the way that works out. Uh, looks like right here we're going to... Okay, so Warwick's coming up. We're going to try and catch him. There's three of us here. I see Zillion coming up. We should probably back right here. This is where we really should have backed, especially when Fuck Shin comes life. out. Uh, basically, I should have, you know, I tried to stay in because I was like, well, I'm going to help out the Katarina and support her. But really what ended up happening was their whole team got there and no. they ended up getting a double kill on me. I think, that, yeah, the Ramus gets away, but that was pretty stupid. Only three of us there and just kind of gave up some free kills there. So not very intelligent play, to be honest. After after we saw that Zillion coming up on the minimap, we really should have beat. Uh, they got a free dragon out of it. So now we're already down uh, two dragons at this point. Um, 
down two dragons and then like one kill so not looking good so far um, I'm able to buy the uh, the Aegis of protection so that's good at least I got that so that'll help in the next team fight we did lose the bottom tower unfortunately oh, cool. so we're gonna be down a tower two dragons and a kill uh, so not not really out of the I game just yet but uh, yeah. but definitely you know don't want to get into any more bad oh, spots they just clairvoyance the red buff so I'm uh, probably going to have to wait a second before we get that. Every chance I get, I'm going to go ahead and farm these race if nobody else is. Uh, I just want to build up uh, as much items as I can. Tarek, you don't necessarily need as much farm as a carry, but, you know, being able to support with good items is always good. So um, probably going to want to build, since they have a Twitch, uh, probably going to want to get a Frozen Heart. Um, just with Tarek, you don't really want to build AP. That's a retarded build. You always want to go support Aura Tarek, basically, is what you'll hear people call it. Uh, get items that give Auras to your team. So obviously the Aegis is one of the most powerful items uh, that you can get, in my opinion, just because it's kind of like it's kind of like the Sona's Auras, but inside of an item. So uh, when I play Sona, I actually usually get the Aegis if nobody else does, but you know, obviously Tarek is the best choice for getting an Aegis first off. Uh, I see War going up here. I'm going to try and uh, harass him a little bit. I'm just going to go run up and hit a, hit my little spell on him. Uh, oh, okay, so he goes ahead and ults me. I guess he's going to try and take me out. Uh, my team goes in. That's not really good. In oh, yeah, that was not good. If they had not have gone in, I would have kept going back. I guess I... For some reason, I just decided to go in and help him out like we were going to do something useful. I should have just kept running back and let the <laughs> let someone else die, I guess, if they wanted to go in. So that that was pretty retarded on my part. Like I said, I'm, I'm still pretty new on Tarek. I don't really know his weaknesses and strengths. And apparently living early game is not his strength against uh, four people. So uh, don't do that. Just a uh, word of advice in the future. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, since they've got a Morgana and they've got a slow with Twitch and all that and lots of magic damage, I'm going to try and build my Merc Treads. Oh it's going to be probably the best thing right now. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, get a ward for now. I don't really need that health push. Uh, oh, shoot. Looks like a team fight's breaking out here in the mid. Uh, Zillion putting the ult on the Twitch, so he's not going to die. Man, uh, I don't know. Our Ash got she taken out. She really needs to get farmed up. Right now, she's um, going to be our main source of damage. We really, really don't have a lot of damage. I mean, we've got the uh, the ult. If Elements can get a full ult off, then that's going to do considerable damage to their team. However, um, other than that, we don't really have any way of uh, taking them out quickly. No real burst or anything. So we're just relying on uh, that poke comp with with the uh, with the two hills. So really, we shouldn't be. Oh, okay. Well, actually, that's the end of the first part. Go ahead and uh, click the link. Uh, take you to the second video, and then I'll finish the discussion about the team comp that we're trying to go for here and whatnot. So I'll see you guys here in just a second.